Bang on murder 50 how We ride around with guns the size of a little bad wow. <laughs> this is your girl Diva Diva Fashionista and this is my review of Growing Up Hip Hop Atlanta Season 1 Episode 2 which was entitled You Don't Work With Rihanna but in my opinion it could have been entitled Big Ass Bullies and Mom Interventions that would have been a better title so we come in on the club scene again we left off at the club scene last week and there's uninvited guests and the cast is still talking about the uninvited guests and if you hear noise in the background that's my two-year-old which is why i record at night but anywho we're going to keep this review moving so it was very unclimatic in my opinion because it was like all right, there was just this hyped up drama. Oh, the goons is coming. Everybody got them things. And then in the end, security just escorted them out. So we end off with Bow Wow saying, oh, he's not moving back to Atlanta. So this is the moment I've been waiting for. We have Zanique heading over to Regine's house to confront her basically about her little Twitter fingers, what she had to say about Tip, even though it's her stepdad, that's still her dad, and she felt the type of way, everybody's feeling the type of way, so we have the confrontation. And you know, in Regine's confessionals, she's like, she's not backing off, and then in Zonique, she's saying like, hey, if she doesn't back off, it's gonna be a problem. We kinda just end with a stalemate there. Nothing really is resolved. They're still friends, they're still good, but it's really, guys, it wasn't no rah-rah and it wasn't no kumbaya, so we move along. Um, the next thing, we're now at Zonique's house and Brandon and Ayana come through and they're going through her closet and yes, Brandon, how you doing? Brandon is being so hands-on. It's very puzzling. Even Zonique is puzzled as to why Brandon is being so hands-on with her career. Like, he's supposed to be the vocal coach. And he's just like, he wants to see the looks. And he wants to know what is she doing a photo shoot for. Because, yeah, she's doing a photo shoot. And she invites them over. And, you know, she's really kind of talking to Ayana. Like, Ayana, you know, you want to come, you know, give some advice on the looks for this photo shoot. So they decide that they will be there. They're going to go to Zanique's photo shoot. The next scene. Now, this scene had me shaking my head. Because I, I, I don't know what is shard doing he's saying he wants to be back with joy his baby mama and um he he wants to build his family and everything's about family his life his family's in la and that's the most important thing to him so he goes over <laughs> to joy's house he got this bright idea to go over to joy's house with corner store flowers Yes, even the shady production crew kind of zoomed in on. They was a little rusty on the side. Did y'all peep that? Because I did. So, um, Joy, needless to say, is unimpressed. She's like, you're about family now. He's like, yeah. And then, you know, he's like, oh, it's all about you and my daughter. And, you know, Joy's not really trying to hear that. All right. Moving on to the next scene, we see Ayana. Ayana is a cute girl. Ayana... If you squint at her and you look at one eye, she kind of reminds me of Regine. She has that same type of um, look going on. I, I, don't, I guess that's what's in style now, in fashion, that same type of, you know, just a little light pink lip, nose ring, you know, straight bundles. Like, she, she, I was like, mm, mm, is that Reggie? But anywho, we see her going to have a daddy-daughter date where she's going to break the news to her father that she quit her job. And then hit him with the other shoe or drop the other shoe, whatever this term is, <laughs> where she's going to ask him for money now because she wants to be a fashion designer and she needs dad's help to get her clothing line off the ground. There's going to be a woman's clothing line, she informs him, and he takes it better than expected. He's like, all right, cool, got your back. You know, nothing's too big for my princess. So we, we have that scene and it was very cute. So now we're at Neek Neek's photo shoot. And so... I can see where, you know, they're going with shooting this show. 
you have your your big scene, which all the drama is going to like spin out of the scene, and this is where we are. We have Neek Neek's photo shoot, and Reggie is there, and she's basically being a supporter friend, and it's like, yes, yes, work, work. Okay, well, who was the stylist? Because I didn't like the outfit. If you like the outfit, please let me know because I didn't like the outfit. Because it was kind of confusing. Zani has her big box braids in with a little um, highlighter pink. They're blonde. And then she has like a, oh no, a studded, uh, like a rhinestone bustier. Then she has a denim coat jacket on, I think like denim pants. But it was very like, okay, girl, I see you. She's trying to make the point like, I'm grown and look what I got. But it was like, it, it wasn't high fashion. It just didn't have a um, direction there. Yeah. So Brandon comes in and these are basically the things that he's trying to say, which basically it probably wasn't his place. He was supposed to be there as they say later on, like support, support, support. So um, he starts throwing out his like questions of what's going on, whatever. And Reggie stands up for her friend and she's like, no, it's very, it's cute. She looks good. I like it. And then she asks him like, what do you do? Like, aren't you the vocal coach? Yeah, you stick to that. And Reggie, oh my gosh, Reggie, she with the verbal blows. I was like, go ahead, Reggie. Like she has a mouth on her, which is can be cute but it can be a problem at the same time but she definitely has a mouth on her you know i was like yes with the read reggie like she was going in so um brandon not to be not to be slighted brandon had his few quick things to say but brandon boo 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 brandon it was too much like it wasn't called for you know, Reggie was keeping it very tongue in cheek and he was keeping it very like, I'm going for your, I'm just going for your gut. Like he was going too far in with statements like you worry about the black lives. Like, dude, you, you, you took it too far. And then he was saying something like, I could have helped your dad's career. Help Wayne do what? <laughs> Help Wayne do what? I, that's what I want to know. Have you not heard of Millie? A Millie, a Millie, like, dude, he's been rapping since he was like nine. Help him do what? I, I exactly. I, 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 I'm baffled. But you know, so Reggie, she, when she does look kind of bad in this scene, you know, she kind of like, ah, uh, gets a little temper tamper, tantrumish a little, and she's like, ah, uh, I don't want to work with him. I don't want to film with him. Oh, he's disrespectful. And you see someone in production escort her out. And as she's being escorted out, she's saying, I'm going to tell my mom on you, or I'm going to let my mom handle you, or something to that effect. And it's just, it just reminds you of her age. Like, she is 17, which is why him being mid-20s, arguing with her who is 17 it, it was just a bad look but then it also just reminds you that she is a child because she got to go get her mama like dude you was doing okay she was doing okay in hands by herself but in the end it was like i gotta go get tell my mommy which she doesn't even make it into her car before she calls toya and toya's like what toya okay comes off as that girlfriend like your your bestie like she's just like what oh no no he didn't uh-uh girl yes I will be handling that. <laughs> so, yes, this was the big scene. And, you know, I went to Twitter. I had to see how Twitter was reacting to it. And Twitter was pretty much split. You had the ones saying, like, Zon no, Zonic, sorry, Reggie. She's staying in the child's place. And then you had the ones that just was just, like, random without a line. So, comment down below. Let me know how you feel about that scene. Um, and we're going to move on. In the next scene, we see... Toya and Reggie having a conversation and she's basically just rehashing what she already told her on the phone and um, Toya's not here for it and Toya definitely just decides like you know what she'll have a conversation with Miss Deb and then um, we're back to the joy and bow wow scene and um, I, I gotta tell you guys I'm kind of more enjoying the little youngsters like I'm so like it's uh, it, the, the the joy shot bow wow thing is just kind of like manufactured to me it's just we're not really i'm not i'm not gonna speak for y'all i'm not really that interested you know joy comes to drop off little shy and shy is just the cutest thing she tells bow wow no going to the club <laughs> it's just so cute and um you see bow wow talking to his friend telling him how he's gonna have to move back to the a now he's moving back to the a 
Okay, so he's moving back to the A, and he has to break the news, and he knows that his daughter's not going to be happy about it, but she isn't, and neither is Joy. Joy winds up teary-eyed, or, <laughs> I, I need help. How are you going to help me if you're not here? You know, I understand you have to work, but how am I going to go to the gym? The gym, boo? The gym? Um, it leads me to question, where's their, their mother? It's like, where's Grandma Bow Wow? Where's Grandma Joy or whoever? Like, y'all don't have help. Y'all don't have people. Like, he can't afford a nanny to watch her while you go to the gym, while you get your crunch on. Joy, by the way, is very beautiful. And that, did you see that ass? Woo! Bow Wow, you messed up. I see why you want to get that back. Because she is beautiful. And she's doing a very good job with Little Shy. And so, you know, they come to a kind of understanding. She's not happy about it, but he's moving to the A. It's just, it is, is what it is. Okay. All right. So, this, um, this episode wraps up with Brandon now going to see Miss Deb. And Miss Deb is looking really cute because I think a couple seasons ago, we saw her on Love and Hip Hop and she had like grayish hair. And now she has like this honey blonde straight hair. And it's really flattering. She looks really nice. And so she's um talking to Brandon. Brandon tells his side of the story about what he said. And he's basically saying, yeah, I said it. I'm not apologizing. I meant what I said. And Deb is just like, what? You said and did what? First of all, that's a baby. Like, you 26 years old. Yes, you're 26 year old, year old and you're arguing with a 17 year old. It's not a good look. He said, and now she's letting him know, like, you're basically going to get everybody else involved. Like, it becomes a bigger issue because everybody else is going to want to get into it. And, you know, which is up. I don't know how I forgot the scene with Neek Neek. Which we go back. I'm sorry. I missed the scene where Zanique tells Tiny what happened. Zanique sits down with Tiny. Well, she's standing. Tiny's sitting. And she's telling her what happened at the um, scene. Uh, at her photo shoot. And she's basically saying how she's not really. She doesn't feel like she needs to mess with Brandon at this point. And um, Brandon. She's saying like how, you know, everyone. She kind of put Ayana in it. Unless we just didn't see that part due to editing. Where Ayana was saying how. Was she saying how Ayana was getting rowdy too? I didn't really see Ayana getting rowdy. I saw Ayana telling him to chill. She was saying like basically like chill. Like you need to chill a little bit. Like you know. And she tells Brandon later like listen. You can't be arguing with her. You can't be arguing with this little girl because at the end of the day you're putting me in the position. I've been in anger management. I'm gonna have to pop off. Like you know and she, I think she was right. Like you know like she a real one in my eyes. I'm liking Ayana more and more besides her being cute. Like she a real one. Like I would have had to pop off. I would have had to handle her if things happened. You know and I'm like, not condoning violence, but I'm just like, we all need an Ayana. Like, your yeah, friend that's willing to be like, I got this. Step back. <laughs> you know? We all need that type of friend. But, um, basically, Neat is telling Tiny that, you know, oh, they were really rowdy, and she just didn't like it, and they were saying things that were disrespectful, and she kind of rehashed what was said, and um, Tiny was like, uh-uh, because -uh, now you're going to have to get mamas, cousins, sisters, baby moms, stepdads, everybody's going to be involved into this situation. It's going to be a bigger issue. Like, he doesn't really know what he started, and Deb kind of has the same feeling deb is telling her son the same thing like basically you're gonna get all these people involved it's gonna be a bigger issue than just this little caddy you know beef you just had with a 17 year old so um we gotta get cut off at deb like we we have a feeling that deb is gonna go all the way in and i'm all the way here for it i cannot wait for next week to see what deb says in its entirety you know it's gonna be pretty good so Thank you guys for tuning in to this review. If you're going to be watching Grown Up Hip Hop in the A, if you watch this episode, please leave your thoughts down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. And you need to stop fronting. And you ain't got nothing.